Hey, I have a question, like, so, you know how some people say Canelo has done a lot in boxing and he could do what he want to do, and um, he can do all these other things. I don't know if he's multiple undisputed or has uh, done as much as Terrence Crawford has in different weight classes. So, um, I want to ask this question. Terrence Crawford can't do what he want to do? And why is uh Ennis somehow getting uh a chance at the number one pound for pound fighter? But we got guys who two time world champions, multiple world champions, all kind of stuff, and they can't get a chance at um uh Canelo, pound for pound fighter. How was it? Let me ask y'all a question. So Ennis he can get a chance at Crawford before. Benavidez or Andre, or let me just say Andre, before Andre can get a chance at Canelo? This is the problem with boxing. People are siding with Jerron Ennis to get an opportunity at a blockbuster fight before Andre. What did Ennis do to prove to y'all in the last 12 months that he should have a blockbuster opportunity at a fight over Demetrius Andre at this time? I don't understand that. No one has said that, uh, uh, Ennis should deserve an opportunity to fight the best fighters in the game right now. And we still have Benavidez and Canelo out here. See, so y'all waving flags for the wrong type of people, man. I'm being real. I'm being real. Ennis is probably like number three in that in that role. And being three is high because I'm talking about hundreds and th thousands of boxers. And I'm talking about the top three. So that's a small percentage. Like zero zero point one probably. But why is uh, they getting chosen for that position, but Andre can't? And he has more accolades? He's done way more than these guys have done for a way long time. Andre have been doing this for a way long time, uh, longer than uh, these guys, man. That's why I don't understand uh, when people say, well, the rankings and the mandatories, I don't really pay attention to none of that stuff no more. It sound cool to y'all. If y'all knew the boxing, and if y'all ain't seen the type of guys I've seen sit in weight classes and didn't get opportunities, well, that's your fault. You know what I'm saying? I don't got time to teach everybody every little thing that happened. You know what I'm saying? That's what the newspaper for. You pick, pick that up and go back and read it. But um, the thing I don't like is you got guys 26, 27, they got to fight the fight, face of boxing. And uh, these guys who's the number one pound for pound and they need an opportunity. But the guys who 35, 36, undefeated, multiple world champions, they can't get an opportunity? Nah. Nope. I'm until until we start uh using that same energy for uh, Demetrius Andre, I'm not doing it for Jerron Ennis not right now. Jerron Ennis ain't touched 30 yet, man. I still got guys in their 30s, man, I need to worry about. I got guys in their 30s, man, they got kids, man. They need, <laughs> we worried about them. Been the Olymp uh, Olympians and everything. Team USA guys. I gotta worry about them. Been the Nationals. National champions, amateurs, and all that. I gotta worry about them. But would you want me to worry about um Jerron Ennis? And he just fought what Vila recently? I don't understand that. I don't at all. He would have fought uh, Rashidi Ellis if he won the loss. But it ain't Rashidi Ellis' fault. He was all long layoffs and in between fights. I mean, stuff like that happens, man. Uh, he's had opportunities in front of him. It just ain't worked out that way. Y'all act like he's 35, don't like Andre. How about this? Let Jerron Ennis go fight Benavidez. Tell, tell Jerron Ennis to call Benavidez out. Even after Andre uh, win or lose, tell 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 him to uh, call out Benavidez. I bet it won't happen. Tell Spence to call out Benavidez. Tell Charlo to call out Benavidez. After the uh, Andre fight, it won't happen. He's still gonna be a threat. That's what people don't understand, man. This ain't no easy fight, man. 
This a fight. The winner is supposed to get you uh the big fight. Not oh he a mandatory now. He supposed to get a big fight. Nah, no sir. No. No. That's that ain't how it been going. Cause Andre was a uh, mandatory for uh Mangia and Canelo. So I don't care about the Indus can uh mandatory. Y'all didn't care about the uh, Andre mandatory. But if y'all want to play sides, I mean that's cool too. We can do that. We can do that. But as I'm saying right now, nah, nobody deserves uh opportunity uh over Andre. After this fight, let me tell you, if that happens, if, if people start uh if he wins. I'm not gonna mention no other fighter needing to fight somebody. No other fighter. I'm telling you. I'm saying that now. I'm not gonna mention no other fighter needing to fight if he wins. Because we already been saying for years how guys have been on pay-per-view millions of times, how they need an opportunity to fight this guy. They don't need nothing, man. There's a lot of other guys that need fights, man. A lot of guys. There's a lot of guys who ain't made it this far. Because of uh, contracts and different things like that. So, nah, we ain't, I'm not finna let that slide. No way. I seen it already. I see it now. The way things are going right now, it's not even correct. It's really not. That's why I'm starting to expose all this stuff that's going on in Boston. And the fans, y'all are part of it, man. Because y'all the same ones that pushing for one fighter. And the rest of these guys who've been doing this stuff, just because y'all started watching boxing yesterday and the only new guys y'all know is innocent and all them, yeah, I'm just going to ride with them. Y'all part of the problem, man. Y'all really are, bro. I know people be like, nah, man, some shit on the fans. Man, they made a part of the problem, dog. If you want to get it fixed, call out this. We got to call out this BS. That's why the community be looking like it do, bro. We don't want to call out nothing. As soon as, got, as soon as these girls start doing what they doing, oh, everybody got a problem with it, man. This junk been going on. Look. Just like in Boston, this stuff been going on. Been going on. Don't nobody want to say nothing about it. Bro, I'm not finna get... Look. Young guys like Benavidez, Benavidez first in line, bro. He, if he ain't fighting Canelo, I don't want to see nothing about no young guy fight Crawford. I'm good. I done seen Crawford do enough. If y'all ain't seen Crawford do enough, all y'all asked for Crawford to fight with Spence. After that, I don't know. If you wanted him to do something else, then I don't know. That's your fault. It sound like you ain't been watching him that long. He got 30-something fights. I mean, he got how many times he got to prove himself to you? I mean, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You said give, give you the Spence fight. That's all you want. Boxing this and this. You got the Spence fight. Shut up. I don't want to hear nothing else. I'm focused on Andre right now. Crawford to figure that out. Deron Anderson Crawford, nah. If that ain't if uh the other fights ain't happening, I'm not finna focus on that. That's straight up. You got Benavidez still waiting on the fight. And they fought way more guys. Top guys. Nah, we ain't finna do that. They ain't my fault, uh, 147 scary division. Always been a little scary division. Everybody think they Mayweather down there. See, when Terrence Crawford was looking for a fight, everybody, no, nah, as soon as Jerron ended, yeah, yeah, he, he, everybody running. Okay, man. Yeah, switching narratives up. Andre, man, he, he he put in way more work than these guys. I'm talking about David Morrell need a fight over Andre. Man, I'm not finna hear that, man. I'm not finna hear it, man. That's a problem of boxing. I'm calling this out right now. People might not think I'm saying something right now, but I'm saying a whole lot. I'm saying a whole lot. Because y'all ain't even noticing it. Y'all letting them sneak that through the back door. Yeah, Jerron Hennessy need to be uh, fa fa facing the, the biggest fighters right now. Spence, all these guys. Only him? How he leapfrog everybody else who been boxing 10 years before he was? No, that ain't how that go, Playboy. We definitely ain't gonna do that. All this is just coming out, man. Right now. I see it. I want so David Morrell and Ennis, they next in line. Okay, that's a distraction for uh Morrell, that's a distraction for Vita Vidas. 
So you ain't gotta fight Canelo. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, uh, Crawford fighting Ennis has to be mandatory, but nobody has to fight Andre who's been around. He been Andre was in a position uh Ennis in before Ennis even got the boss. Before he even, even got pro. Before he even came pro, Andre was already going through this situation. Same situation. That's why I said, man, a lot of these guys, they're going to be on the wrong side of history. You're already on the wrong side of history with Terrence Crawford. Already, already on, and I don't expect too, too many guys to even listen to this because most of the guys I'm talking about is mostly most of Boston fans. Most of the Boston fans who ain't like Terrence Crawford, who don't like Demetrius Andre, they're not going like, to like a guy like me talking like this because they know, oh, man, he talking about me. He talking about me, man. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Because y'all are the majority of boxer fans that do this stuff. Y'all want somebody who look tough and all this other stuff. And then when your guy lose, you need to find somebody else who... See, people try to act like, oh, y'all do that for Canelo. Man, I asked Canelo to fight one guy. One guy. Demetrius Andre, his mandatory. Why is that an issue? Canelo fighting the mandatory is an issue? For for undisputed? That's crazy. He don't get no flat for dodging his uh mandatory with Andre. But Crawford, yeah, yeah, he ducking. What about Canelo? Oh, he can do what he want. Do what he want? Did he beat Floyd or something? Remind me, did he beat Floyd or did he lose to Floyd? Just like somebody said Triple G can do what he want. Who cares what Triple G does? Who cares? Who cares? That's, that's what happened with uh, Boston. Boston had turned into guys who's made hundreds of millions of dollars. They retired. Don't nobody even care. What that happened then? Imagine if Mike Tyson was still fighting and active right now. He retired. You think he would have went away quiet like that? Triple G can do what he want. Mike Tyson couldn't even do what he want. This guy ain't even from this country. Came over here and made a bag. And left. And threw the, threw the peace sign up. Nah, he threw the, M, the uh, upside down jump man sign. Because he was signing Air Jordan. They signed the dude who got, I guess they got so mad at uh, Andre Ward, they said, yeah, let's make him a, a Air Jordan uh, athlete just to piss off Andre Ward. That was dumb. That's the last guy y'all gonna get is Triple G for for Air Jordan? Man, I don't want to see another, I don't want to see no more boxes boxing Air Jordan, man. The alumni they starting to have for that, uh, for that um company as far as boxing, it, mm -mm, it watered down now. It, it don't feel the same after uh putting a pair of J's on after Triple G was uh wearing some. As a star athlete, it ain't gonna be the same, bro. Triple G, who wanna come behind Triple G and be like, oh yeah, I'm the next Jordan athlete. It don't even, see, it don't even hit the same no more. It's like, ah, Triple G was an athlete. Who cares? But back to uh, Demetrius Andre. What is uh, going to be the option for him? Does anybody know? As far as 168, 160, any fans? Anybody know? Anybody heard anything? Any maybes or could bees? What else? See how you don't have that many opportunities? None. Zero zilch. No opportunities. It's sad that Jerron Ennis got more opportunity than Demetrius Andre right now. And Demetrius Andre is possibly going to defeat ben uh, David Benavidez. That, look, that, that goes to show you that they don't respect uh, Benavidez. They want him to uh, cancel himself out, whether it's um, going against Andre or not. They're, in their eyes, they're like, if he has to go against Andre, well, that's just what Benavidez is going to have to do. Uh, it's not my fault. He's gonna have to deal with it for a little bit. But he's gonna that's what he's gonna have to do. 
And well, that's exactly how they're going about it. He's going to have to do what he's going to have to do. They don't care if, uh, if you're um, trying to uh, fix boxing or not, man. They're going to they gonna get the guy they want to get. They're going to get the guy they want to get, man. And a lot of Americans fans, y'all sad too, man. Y'all sad too because y'all becoming like these other fans y'all complain about, man. Playing size and all that stuff. It's getting weird, man. It's getting weird, but you can't really take no. Uh, these younger guys are becoming more serious about boxing, though. So they know. They know. These younger guys, people. From, I'm not trying to say anything bad about any. I'm just saying it, it's been going on way too long like this. Something has to change. Something has to change, man. Andre Victory gonna prove everything when it happens, though. I see a big change coming uh, after his win. I don't feel. I feel like a lot of people are gonna uh, have to basically uh, change their approach to boxing. You can't be a fan of boxing and you said Terrence Crawford and uh, Demetrius Andre aren't that good and uh, they got the biggest wins. And you're from the country that they represent, basically, America. And you counted them out. It's going to look bad on you, man. You got other guys from other countries that's basically saying, oh, no. Nah. These these guys ready to go. They the real deal. But that's all I got for this. Uh, I don't want to uh, spend too much time on this because it's just a, it's just a bland topic, you know. It's, it's self-explanatory. And it's being available for a top fighter before Demetrius Andre, it's a problem in Boston. It's definitely a problem in boxing. There's too many young guys now. The young guys are already willing to fight each other. Now they're trying to use the young guys as shields to protect older boxers. Y'all don't even see that, man. They're trying to protect older boxers from Andre. These 30-year-old these, these boxers and things like that, man, y'all some punks, man. Y'all becoming losers. And y'all promoters. Y'all ruining boxing. If you look at the talent pool we have now, we ain't got nobody around. Because we let all these other guys, the older guys, destroy these young guys so they can go on and have a longer career. And then all the fights that uh, Andre was supposed to have, like Billy Joe Saunders and all that stuff. And then Canelo sweeps in. Oh, I, feel, I think Billy Joe Saunders is qualified. Even though he just uh, failed a drug test. I'm cool with that. Everybody cool for, uh, fighting the uh, fighter who failed the drug test. But it comes to anybody else, though, it's a problem. Andre didn't fail no drug test, but we're going to fight. We're going to give a, a guy a drug test right after he uh, was supposed to fight me. We're going to give him an opportunity. A guy who failed the drug test, we give him an opportunity right after he fought me. That's the way it's going, though. Telly, or uh, Andre victory needs to happen. It has to happen. Has to happen. To change all this. If it's because the Terrence Crawford win, I mean it changed some things, but the fact that it ain't gonna build on the line for this Andre Benavidez fight really t ticks me off. It really does. Really, really, really does. It really does. It put him in a bad position. People using the belts to try to run and stuff now. That's why I say the fans are very disappointed in the fans. Stuff I've been hearing lately. That's why I can't even I can't even do it no more. Not not putting up with hearing just man, I can't hear that stuff no more, man. I don't like being around uh people who just lie and stuff like that for their own personal gain. I can't be around that type of stuff no more. That's why I just ignore it from now on, I just keep it pushing. But that's all I got, man. Like and subscribe.